when I came up through the sport, you know, I did thousands of fucking broomstick squats, you know, just to fucking learn how to squat. Then somebody would show me, you know, how to sit back on the heels more, which, you know, so then I started sitting back on the heels more. So that was back to the broomstick squats over and over again. When I came to West Side and then it was learning. Best way to increase technique and progress overall novice without a coach. Figure out what technique you wanna use. There, there's technique, style, and form. You know, search Ricky Dale Crane, technique, style, and form. He does a phenomenal job of explaining the difference of that. Essentially what that is, is there's always gonna be textbook technique. You know, that's, you know, is the optimal way to be able to do anything. But that's gonna change based upon somebody's body structure, it's gonna change based upon their biomechanics, it's gonna change based upon a lot of other things. And then each person is gonna have their own unique way to be able to do things. So you gotta understand, you know, kind of what the optimal is, and that can be, you know, defined differently depending upon several different coaches. As long as a coach has success, you know, I'm not gonna say one's worse than another one. What I'm gonna say is if you know, you're following one technical style and that's what you're gonna do, then you wanna to listen to those people that follow that same style that have had a lot of success with that style. Because if you start listening to people that disagree with that style, you're gonna get all fucking confused. So especially if you're a beginner, just figure you know, what style you, you wanna go with and roll with that and just work the fuck out of it. You know, I've stressed several times throughout the table talks today, you know, technique training is, is vital if you're a power lifter. It's still a skill sport. It's, it's still a sport, you know, that there, there has to be technical training built into it. You know, when I came up through the sport, you know, I did thousands of fucking broomstick squats, you know, just to, fucking learn how to squat and then somebody would show me you know how to sit back on the heels more which you know so then I started sitting back on the heels more and so that was back to the broomstick squats over and over again when I came to west side and then it was learning how to do a box squat you know it's broomsticks fucking squats at home sitting on the couch every time I stood off the toilet it was a fucking box squat. just over and over and over and over and over it takes repetitions to be able to develop these technical patterns. You can't just go in the gym and train it for three sets of fucking five once a week, or if you're a high frequency guy, three sets of five three times a week and think that's gonna fix your fucking technique. It takes a hell of a lot more than that, but the load has to be reduced. So don't worry so much about the load, worry about making every rep count and look perfect. And if every rep looks different, you're doing a triple and all three look different, you're not even close to being there yet. So that's an indicator to be able to use as well.